Hey, hello everyone, Ranjit this side. So um, I was trying to import or let's say export the data from the SQL Server with the help of import export um, feature or the wizard in SQL Server. Um, but I was getting this error which state that the an error occurred uh, while the SQL Server integration service wizard was not prepared to handle. And what I got to know is, um, ah, it's already working. Okay, um, so what I got to know is let me just install it. What I got to know that you know I need to install this SQL Server cumulative um, cumulative update. Uh, I think uh, no, so it was somewhere over here. Is it yeah? So I was asked to update or uh, let's say this cumulative update cumulative update for SQL Server 2022. So I downloaded it and then I'm trying to run it. So let's see if it runs and the um, import export wizard works. Why I'm sharing this is because uh, you might face similar issue. So just thought to, you know, better to share it with you guys as well. So I think there were like a couple of other issues um, which this update has solved or resolved. So I hope um, this will be like fixed. Next part update. I'm just hoping that I don't get that error because um, earlier we used to be like, you know, uh, not really careful about the installation or such errors but what happens if you ignore such errors then in the future when you are like really working on something very um deep and then at that point if you face uh, an error because of the error that you skipped earlier then it's not good so it's always good to solve the issues as much as you can in the early stage of your project development uh, or let's say the planning itself right so this is kind of a patch but i hope I don't need to re I mean restart the system and it hopefully it will resolve. So in Gen service support, hopefully it's done. Let's see. Uh import. Oh yeah. So it it has resolved. Right. So okay. So what we are trying to do is basically um we are trying to export the data from the database or let's say the table um in the server that we um installed and then the data that we created. Uh, in our database named uh, I think financial data right so it's uh, it will be a flat file that we are trying to export so let's see the data source is um, SQL server right um, next the connection using strip properly is not initialized so I should have selected this if client if I'm not wrong yes uh, this is the one uh, native client I should have selected so this is the server name that we have so and then we are using the windows authentication so it won't be a big task or issue uh could not retrieve the table list okay so let's uh try to refresh it a network related instance of specific error has occurred while establishing a server not found okay let me just try to uh, run this because probably it could be because of this let's try this again so uh, I had to select or I have to select this um, OLEDP service provider uh, for SQL Server and then this is the name of the instance of the server and then I'm using the Windows authentication. Uh, the database is basically the financial data and if you don't see the data list over here, the database name, uh, try to refresh it and then uh, you will be able to see. right? And then next, so uh, now what we are doing Choose a destination. So name of the ODBC driver to use when the connecting to the data source. Let's keep it. Um, so integration OLEDB SQL Server. Next, just trying this. So let's see. Ah, so not not the one. Next, copy the data from one or more tables. Right, a query. So there are like two ways. A uh, one is either we so ah. Uh, Either we uh, import the data directly from the table or the views which are already there or we can write a specific query. So right now we will just copy the data from the table. And so, so these are the tables that we have in the particular database, right? And then uh, I will select company by sector. Uh, if there were like views available, then we could have done that as well, right? And then um, the edit mapping is something now uh, let's say you would like to get, uh, let's say, the name of the um, column changed, right? So let's say stock ticker, then you can do it over here. And if you would like to change the data type, you can do that, right? Um, 
price or whichever the column name you want to change you can change in the destination right uh, okay and preview is basically what the data will look like uh, once it is exported then let's say next now it's uh, asking whether you would like to run the uh, immediately or you would like to create an SSIS package so right now we will just run it immediately uh, so click finish to perform this following action so uh, source location is this one destination location uh, again um wait uh, let me go back and i do not want the destination to be so choose a destination so let's not choose the destination as that let's select the flat file destination and uh, let me select the d so uh, this could be the is the file um and then let me okay so and then we can say um table underscore data dot csv if you would like SV, right uh, and then format is delimited for sure and then text qualifier let's keep it as it is the column names in the first row so we have the first row uh, as the columns uh, code page let's keep it as it is uh, don't change much right and then we'll say next next uh, here again uh, either you can do the column delimiter as colon comma or crf CRF, LF, CR or LF can be done in Windows, uh, CR in Mac, LF in I think uh, Linux if I'm not wrong, then we have comma so we will go with the comma um, and then next then immediately um, so the source location is this and then destination location, location is okay. finish so basically these all needs to be a success then only you will get our data as and our output right so we have seven to four seven one zero rows transferred uh, let's close this and let's see the data so this is the data that we have right and then if you remember we had a ticker and description size and sector i don't know why that should have been a uh, stock ticker uh, i mean i must have missed something right uh so yeah this is it now if you would like to let's check one more thing don't save and now if i say notepad or let's say yeah text notepad right and then if i would like that csv file to be imported to a text uh, let's do that and uh, let's go to p all so we have a ticker description and all as a data format i mean uh, you can do multiple things over here you can replace this comma with a tab or whatever you would like so this is how your uh, export is is basically done with the import export uh, wizard in the with the help of sql server right so yeah that's all thank you so much have a great day please make sure to like share and subscribe